Hey, me didn't know people sit on there watching me. <laughs> well, let me guess. Oh, they come to hear the story now. <laughs> well, when I did hear the advertisement, I tell the writer, let me be the narration because them youths can't tell story like me. Anyways, oh, they know Jack? We mean no, they know Jack. Well, Jack is my friend from a long, long time. And you see that house behind me? That is the house that Jack built. Mm -hmm. But hey, eh, no eh, light gun, Mr. Lightman is in narration. Anyways, you see she, this is the wife that live in the house that Jack built. Mm -hmm. And this is the boss that gave Jack the job, that gave Jack the money to build the house, <laughs> that Jack built. And these are the children, born of the wife, that live in the house, that Jack built. Mm -hmm. And these are the friends, that trouble the children, born of the wife, that live in the house, that Jack built. Mm -hmm. And this is the boss that hire the friends who trouble the children, born of the wife that live in the house that Jack built. And this is the wife of the boss that gave Jack the money to build the house that Jack built. Did I mention this is the house that Jack built? Yes, Miss Tina. Father God, I pray, oh God, that you would bless my family, Lord. God, you know that the children, they begin that internship today at m, &M. Oh, Lord, I pray, oh God, that you, oh God, will bless them, that you will guide them, oh God, that they will be the head and not the tail, and that their steps will be ordered by you, Father. And God, Jack, Father God, <sighs> please help Jack to be the man that help he's... Help Jack to what, honey? Hey, yes. morning, come, let me help you with that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to make sure my hussy looks good. Nice. All right, chop leather. All right, but where are you off to so early, though? Well, Walter and I agreed to go into the office early today. We're doing that tender for the Ministry of Labor, and we're going up against m, &M. You know, they're our toughest competitors. m, &M? But isn't that the same company where the yes, children Yes, honey. You encourage them to do it. I told you not to do it, but your no, choice. But, Jack, you never told me this, Jack. 
At the end of the day, Jack, how are we supposed to be a partnership if you do not tell me these important things? Babe, I told you this last No, time. you did not. Okay. It's only 4.30 in the morning, all right? So let's not argue. Yes, I could tell the time. Oh, I've been doing it since I was seven, right? You always seem to have to rush off, Jack. This is for me? Jack, yes it is. But what about family worship this morning? Jack, family worship is important. Babe, I really, really don't have time right now, okay? Listen, I love you and God knows I love him too, all right? I'll make it up to you guys, Jack, all right? Jack, you always say that. You said that the last time. Yes, you always I say you know. I say it every time. But this time will be the last time, all right, babe? I'll make it up to you. Listen, Jack, hey, you hey, need hey. to... You look Jack, beautiful. Like, Kiss the kids for me. Jack, Tell them good night. Babe, to money got to make. Jack. God, please help Jack to recognize his role in this family as the head of the home and the priest of this house. No, 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 no. Be such a pain in the language. Oh my God. Sometimes. Of oh course, you know, we begin our internship today. The least you could do is help me with the chores. And you're telling me this? Why? Because I wanted to be considerate for once in a life. I am Hello. 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 What is really going on here? Mommy, I'm just married, you know. He knows how to begin our internship today. And all I want to do is just look upon what my responsibilities are at M&M &M for when we get there. And he doesn't want to help me with the chores or anything. He's so lazy. Mommy, there is. Sissy Poo would not have to be now running up on m and if she wasn't on the phone all night talking to Brandon. What? Who is Brandon, Cam? Wow, eh? <laughs> wow. So <laughs> typical of you to take Sean's side, eh? Uh, what? Anyways, just the easy curiosity, Brandon is just a friend from USC. Oh gosh, we're in the same class, and he just goes to find out how it is are going and all because we have an internship. A, a friend? <laughs> Can you make me so sick? Okay, you know what, Sean? You all need to stop, okay? Just stop. Thanks, I mean, gosh, oh, sorry, you mommy. early in the morning for this. Good, Daddy. Yeah. Um, he left for work already. This hour? It's already 4.30. Well, you know, he, he said something about tenders, and he have to make some bids for some, some company, and What, 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 what do I have to do with anything? Okay, you know what? I don't want to talk about this right now. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. All right, here's what. Let's all take a deep breath, okay? You all go across into the living room. I'll join you there. We'll have family worship. And then I'll drop you all across the M&M, okay? All right. Mom. I'm sorry. Just come on. Father God, please help my family, Lord. Father, we're falling apart. And we need you. Yes, Miss Tina, I still want to meet with Mr. Schuller. We need to finalize the abandonment option, okay? Mm -hmm. You didn't call him, did you? Miss Tina, get in my office in the next hour, okay? <laughs> Walter. Jack boy. She can't seem to get anything right. Listen, we have to carry on an extra room program, you know. Another one? I mean, this will be like, what, a sixth one for Tina? Because remember, the other day, I overheard Tina talking to her client, telling them, that we don't do business regionally with, with people from Caribbean China. I'm like, that is, that is locally. I'm like, it's a good thing I was there. No, it's a good thing I was there, Tina, boy. I mean, we did take out the retirement, so I mean, there's and that. also, huh? some people naturally slow, I don't know, ah, right? Anyway, you got through the document from Mr. Jones? Ah, uh, um, not as yet, you know. I should have that by uh, this afternoon. This Walter, afternoon. you too easy on them, you know. If we lose this, m m will overtake us, all right? We must capitalize on this opportunity. I mean, I appreciate, you know, the vigor that you have, but as your boss, don't worry, all right? We got this, Jack. Don't worry about that. But um, as I mentioned that, did you get on to anyone from m and &M? I think um, your children in turn, isn't it? I'll just encourage them, but how you know about that already? Well, um... It was, boy. I, I'm too sure, you know, it, it could have been Alice or, you know, someone of them. But tell me, how was Cameron and that boy? What's his name? I um, can never remember his name. Sh Sean, Sean, yes, Sean, Sean. Well, I think they're missing me a bit in the house, eh? With all these late nights, early mornings. But I told them, after we finish this deal, I'll make it up to them. All yeah. right, well, you in charge, yeah? You the boss at home. <laughs> I'm the boss here, yes, yes. Um, good but, one, good one. <laughs>
Tell me, did you get those documents? Already as as right on documents? it. I just yeah. wanted to make sure everything is okay for the financial committee, but I have it there for you. All right. Uh, you always on top of things, eh? I'm trying. <laughs> yes, man. Well, look at this. Huh. You know, you remind me of myself when I was in your position, you know. You know, I mean, I was more handsome, but you know, you remind me of myself a little bit, a little more beard, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. But this looks really good, you know, Jack. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have been doing some really good work for us, eh? Thank you. For the last couple of years, and you know, um, the partners and I, you know, we've been discussing, you know, and based on you know your recent performances, um. I think I might have some good news for you. Really? Mm -hmm. What's that? All right. Well, you know, based on the organizational structure of the company, you know, the position of CFO uh, okay. is, is still vacant. And, you know, um, you know, as I, as I was telling you, you know, based on, you know, the partners that I have been talking and, you know, good work, I, I think you want to offer you the job. I mean, that's if you want it. Of if course. I want it. I mean. Um. <laughs> I have been looking forward to this my entire career. Right. I cannot wait to tell right. Alice. <laughs> I am so right. You want the job? I want my hand, right? So, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, so, I can't but, wait to tell Alice this I know, this I know news. you see it, Alice, but just don't hold up on that, right? Yeah. Let's just get everything ready to, you know, to tell the board, and right, then right. you can tell us. No okay. problem. All right. Yeah, your secret is safe with me, all right? All right. So, I mean, it was nice. Easy now, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was nice having you as the advisor, the financial advisor to the CEO, you know, which is me. Don't forget that, all right. But I can't wait to see you shine as the new CF. Hey, that sounds good. Sounds good, huh? Yes. <laughs> hey, organized team now, boy. Hey, kind of shine, man. Woo! I got the promotion. I got the promotion. That's what we're talking about. This is Jack's house. You know, I'm real glad to be out of USC and on this internship. Yeah. It's just, I thought I was going to see Elizabeth here today. Elizabeth? Yes. Tall girl, glasses, curly what? hair. Oh. And I have a rumor that she is running a young girlfriend. Oh, exactly. right. I remember. Well, you know, people say she has easy, right? I hear that too. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Why is that to be like that? Why so judgmental? Listen. Everybody had a little secret at the end of the day, okay? So, just give she the ease up. But, Hannah, we can have some measure of respect, eh? because, and she's our boss. Respect? Ha! Let's be real here. She only got her position because she had connection. And well, you know, she slapped her way to the top. <laughs> really? Yes. Listen, not because she and Ronald Rana I mean that she slapped her way to the top. Okay? He sort of like an intern just like the rest of us. And he work his way up to a manager position. So I really think that hard work pays off. Hard work, got a little look at it. Really, Abby? Of course, yeah. Abby, yes. And you know what's the truth? You and you are defensive because of because you're what? Morning, hey, hey, Brandon. Hi. 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 Brandon, hands off my sister oh, now. Oh, Sean, Sean, shut up now. <laughs> Brandon, please do not pay Jessica any mind. Brandon, please pay me mine. Please pay me mine. <laughs> so, guys, are we going to be staying here whole time? What's the plan? We're going to do? You all want to stay and slave on that Babylon system? All right. Now. We could take some time for some meditation. Positive vibration. With the healing of the nation. <laughs> oh, I am in. The PK is in. Quest is in. I'm, I'm, I'm out. And Sean, you should be too. You know, mommy said that you want to sew right away. So, uh. what is he really doing? Of course, you will not in, because you just have to portray yourself to be a little saint, right? <sighs> little saint camera. Hey, come oh. ease up now. If she, doesn't want, if she doesn't want to come, she doesn't have to. You okay. enjoy? Bro, you ask me that you know I am. Sean. Come, oh gosh, come on, just come Sean, on. Sean, you promised that you'd stop. Okay. I know, but mm -hmm. come, this is the last time, I promise. Okay, okay. Uh, just say, I promise is a comfort of fool. Good morning, interns. Good, Good morning. morning, interns. You act like we don't know you. We know you from USC. What knowing me and knowing of me are two totally different things, eh, Mr. Washington? Yes, sir. You will find out that soon enough. Anyway, for those of you who don't know me, I am Ronald Young. I will be your manager while you are here. Here are some files to work on. It is already late. 
So please do it quickly. Welcome to MNN. Who is it? It's me, Miss Tina. Miss Tina? What, what time it is? What day? It's too early. How she hear this? What are you asking me? I'm coming, Miss Tina. Miss Tina, you, know, you have messed up outside there long, 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 and the rain done start to dribble already. What is wrong with you? Miss Tina, dribble? You mean drizzle? That is what I said. You're getting on like my friend, Miss Ann. Anyways, <laughs> what is that you have smelling up the kitchen? Nice, nice. Uh, so. well, I was now preparing some dinner for Jack and the children. Come oh, in now, have a seat, have a seat. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So wait, what brings you by at this hour in the evening? Well, girl, I really went to see my friend Ann. She get the score real bad and she wasn't doing too good, you know. Oh. So I said, as in... I in the neighborhood, I said to myself, self, mm -hmm. and myself said, hmm, you're always, you're always seeing Jack and work, and you ain't see your friend Sarah in a mighty, mighty long time, so I come to look for you. Oh, that's so sweet of you, Miss Tina. I know, you're welcome. Thank, thanks so much. But listen, how you going, though? Mm -hmm. Jack told me you had COVID the other day, and you had to take a few days off of work. I didn't know Jack is a doctor now. But anyways, can you pray to get all in Because this cold, <laughs> this take a long, long, long <coughs> to leave you. Yes, so I heard, Miss Tina. <laughs> so I heard. Um, hold on, let me see. Let me get that, okay? Go ahead, love. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, it's, it's Jack. All right. all right, hold on, hold on. Hi, honey, I was just preparing your favorite meal. Hey, you. Just phone in to tell you that I'll be home a little late this evening, okay? Really, Jack? You'll be home late again this evening? Listen, Sarah, my job calls for my undivided attention at this time. If it had not been for this job, you wouldn't have the finer things, you know? Look at you, you're so comfortable. Excuse? You wouldn't drive that fancy car, give me a break now. What? You mean had it not been for God, Jack? Let me tell you something, eh, Jack Washington? I could not care about this big house and the fancy car and all these nice things that you think you buy for me. At the end of the day, all I really want is the simple, humble man I married 22 years ago. Is that really too much to ask for, Jack? Is it really so hard for you to take a time off and come home and spend quality time with your family? First of all, I am that man. Secondly, lower your voice. <laughs> Thirdly, I expect that you would be a little more understanding as to what is happening with me. Things are changing and you just need to go with the flow. Excuse me. I never said I wasn't coming home, you know. All I said is that I would be late. As soon as I'm finished, I'll be home. You know what, Jack? I have company. So I will deal with you when you get home. Okay? Goodbye. Hi, Miss Tina, right? Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> no, don't worry, don't mind me. But um, things didn't sound too good, you know. You, you want to talk about it? <laughs> no, no, Miss Tina. Um, you won't understand. Girl, I didn't, I didn't marry once, you know, try, man. Mm-hmm. Miss Tina, right now, mm -hmm. I just think like this family holding on by a thin thread. A thin thread? Try, me now. Can't be that bad, man. Miss Tina. Mm. My problem is Jack. Mm -hmm. Jack is never around anymore. And it seems to me like this job is becoming more of a priority to him than his own family. It's like he's never around. And I don't understand what is taking him away from his home like this. I mean, at the end of the day, I didn't expect to be a single parent. I know that I made the decision, right? To stay home when the twins were born. Yes? Because at the end of the day, I thought that that was what was best for them. But at the end of the day, Jack is never around. And even his your life is slipping, Miss Tina. He we have not worshipped together in weeks. He has not been to church in months. And it is just also infuriating. Well, um, child. There's plenty. You tell me they know you have to give me some time to produce it. <laughs> but if there's one thing I know for sure, girl, you have to pray. 
I'm not just for Jack and no, no, girl. I have to pray for you too. You have to pray and ask God for the wisdom to deal with this situation. Girl, you know, we women, this be naggy, naggy sometimes. <laughs> and them men's and them just can't take it. You have to remember, in Jack, I see doing all that he can to make sure his family comfortable. Mm-hmm. So, girl, you have to pray. Pray and ask God for the first sight. We're dealing with him. Not coming to worship, missing the churn, important moments, and putting work before God. And then you know what you have to do? You have to wait and watch God work. <laughs> Miss Tina, if only it were that simple. You youngins, I just tell you, pray and believe. You know, we just feel sometimes that God putting us through these trials and tribulations to the mm. next person when he's saying, this one is for you too. <clears throat> Kill. I have to pray and bruise these knees for you, girl. And I know I'll pray and hope that at the end of all of this, you will grow closer to him for the struggle, yes? <clears throat> What's that about, babe? Don't touch me. You just walk in here all cherry and chirpy, expecting me to be what way with you? What happened to calling and saying that you'd be late? I'm sorry, babe. I just got a little carried away at work. I just lost track of time. Really, Walter? Yeah, really. <laughs> you know, as screwed up as Jack and Sarah are, at least he would let her know when she would late. No, I'm not too sure how you bring Jack and Sarah into this, but I had no time, okay? Really, thank you talking to me. Babe, babe, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't I didn't mean to raise my voice, alright? I, I apologize, alright? I had a hard day at work, alright? Let's just let's just not fight. Let's just try to be rational, okay? Today Jack got a promotion. Rational? So I had to put all the documents ready so that rational? I can have Rash Rational? That's all you get from what I just said. Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me that I'm irrational? Okay. <laughs> so, so nothing in your mind was inclined to say, well, you know what? Oh, crap. By the way, Alice, nothing at all? 
Nothing in that brilliant CEO brain of yours? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I finish? Sure. Finish. Oh, thank you so much. So as I was saying, as the CEO of the company, as you rightfully stated, all right, I had to get all of the documents ready for Jack's promotion. I had to present it to the board. Right, so I had no time. Right, right. So Again. after 3.30 in the afternoon, when you messaged me to ensure that I get all this stuff for the lasagna. Lasagna, church, yes, I remember. Sabah, continue, continue. I apologize. Come on. On Saba, you didn't feel like messaging and saying, oh, Alice, by the way, don't wait up. I'm running late. Nothing at all. Babe, babe, I'm just trying to understand. I mean, why are, you, why are you getting like this? Is it all because I just did not send a message? No, Walter. This is not about you not messaging. So what is it? This is about you not messaging or seeing the importance of it, importance. nor the courtesy to let me know that you'd be running late. I work just as hard as you do. And let's not forget, I am seven months pregnant. I know. <sighs> and, and, and furthermore, I have work in the morning. I shouldn't be having to wait upon you like this. Are you through, Alice? You know what? I am through. And I am through having this conversation with you. Because I am not going to try and ensure that things work out between the two of us. As a matter of fact, I, if I can't get you to see it, and if you can't see it, then what is the point? Uh, you say sorry as though it's in a vacuum, and it's all a lie. So, <sighs> pardon me. I could get my little help. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Be able. I thought uh, good going night. So you stay up to tell me goodness. <laughs> oh, what? Hey, thanks for tonight. Eh? I really, really needed it. Unfed, unfed. Oh gosh, it's Brandon. Jeez. Hey, hey, you upgraded. Okay. Hey, you. Because she blushing, on. Yeah. Yes, I ready. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I always have a good time with you. So okay. Mm-hmm. You can't. Hi. Yeah. Hey, come. What? Yeah. I can see that. I'm not blind. <laughs> Let me call you back, right? Okay. So, who are you on the phone with? Have you all blushing and all mesmerized? Hey, you. Sean, what happened to you? Why are you always up in my face like that? Don't kid yourself. I just want to know who you on the phone with. Sean, on the phone with Brandon, Sean. I'm Brandon, you're coming. What trouble is there? So, <clears throat> do we have a date with Brandon tonight? Where you now coming from? On another weed run? What your voice? Mm -hmm. Nobody is saying this. Voice. Some great news for her. Um, so we hey, saw any laundry or something. Thank you. If you were my really boy, wow. Yeah, anyway. Cameron? Yeah? Were oh, you going just like that this Saturday night? Same thing as the Shut up. Shut sure. <laughs> up. Um, well, Dad. I. I have a thing, I have a, I have a date tonight. A who? A date? A date? Yes. Cameron, we spoke about this. I... How aware are you that the crime it have gone up through the past couple of I months? Am very, I'm very much aware. I'm aware. Listen, no protesting, all right? No, listen, daddy, this is real important to me. So are you hearing me? Why you even care anyway? You didn't even be up in here. All of a sudden, you acting like if you care? <laughs> what you say to me, young lady? No, Sean, no. He can't just come all of a sudden and try to dictate my life like you forget it's 21 or something. 21. In my house. In the house, Jasmine. Whatever. Sam. Listen, take 21 and go to your room right now. 
My room. <laughs> we feel I'm 12 or something. Calm, calm, dad, <laughs> No, dad, no. Dad, did you hear me? I said go to your room. And I said I'm not calm. Calm. What are you doing? Hey, listen, Sarah Alice Washington. What your daughter you? is being disrespectful. That's what's going on. No, what are you talking about? Mommy, mommy, you remember I told you I've dated Brandon tonight, right? Yes, you did. That you don't want me to go anyway. That's okay, wait, 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 but, but Jack Brandon said he would bring her back. Because I do not you. care what Brandon said. She's what? not going, and that is final. We'll just... we'll see about that. Okay, okay, wait, 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 Some peace no, Jack, let me tell you something. Because at the end of the day, Jack, you want to be her father, but you want to disown her whenever she begins to act up. She has a point, Jack. These children need you. I need you. I just come home from work. I can't get some peace. Peace. Tell my woman how to do to get some peace around here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god. 
Listen, Abby, if it is you're going to sit down here and talk and preach to me, I don't want to hear nothing, right? Keep it to yourself. Come on, come. You know, as bad as your dad may seem, at least he does actually try to provide and take care of you. I wish I had that. So. Yeah, and to be honest, I only left because I thought we could help you to calm down, you know. Exactly. And to see where your father was coming from. Are you only my friends? What? Come, what are supposed to mean? I mean, like, right now, all you had to do is just hush and support me. Come on, come. Be fair. We walked out with you. By the end of the day, right is right, and wrong is wrong. I just think you shouldn't tell me that you're like that. That is all. Exactly. And if that was my father, the slapper still like it across my face. Eh? You so like <laughs> You find this funny? No. But there is something really different about you. Says the girl who goes with my brother and Brandon on weed runs. That wasn't necessary. <gasps> mm -hmm. At least I own up to my wrongdoings. But you must always be most high and mighty, saved and sanctified. There was nothing right about what just happened. And if you can't see that, then come. What they're trying to say is, your dad trying real hard, and right now it's like, it's like you have one for nothing. Forty. All you do get. All you clearly do get. I don't care about what my father could provide. Once he cannot provide the support, and the encouragement that I, as his daughter, needs, he just says to me, okay? You feel I really want to be fighting and calling and talking with my father? Nobody wants to be fighting and Well, don't just, because I don't want to either, but he didn't even have time to have a conversation with me. So, and that's honestly what it is I really want. I just want him to hear me out, you know, talk to him and everything, and if he can't provide that, he's damn useless. Wow, useless? Come. I think we're in the same boat to our father's concern. And but we are not Abigail. We are not. Your father is a pastor. Your father is a man of God. He so, guides you. He counsels you about all your life choices. Right, right. So, because you think I'm a PK, I have it easy. That my father always <laughs> around. News flash, honey. Pastors are regular men too. But issues and challenges, sometimes even more than that of a regular man. Man, that tries that. Eh? I'll give him that. But he is just not a wrong. Sometimes you think he even care about the church people more than no, Okay, okay, okay. I fed up for this conversation. Okay, so please, I just want to have a break. Or like, give me the ease up now. All right, calm. All right, all right. But just know that whenever you're ready to talk this through, we're here for you. Mm hmm uh, I know. I know, I know, I know. Okay, I'm really, really, really sorry that I caught an attitude with you guys, okay? You know I love you all, and I know... Hold up, hold up. Hold on a second. Hey. Yeah. Okay, fine, yeah. Let me just drop the girls, and I'll be there like in 15 minutes or something. That's it? Okay, cool. Brother? So, yeah. Um. So, thanks for the talk and everything, but you know I could drop you all home now? That's cool? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah ready to go? No, no. You go and start the car, mm -hmm. let me just... Tell daddy we are on our way. All right, cool. Now, I'll see you. Yeah. Hey, you don't get a feeling that guy's not Brandon. She on the phone, right? I thought I was the only one. Yes. Yeah, nah. The math's not matching. And I'll get to the bottom of it. If it's the last thing I do. For sure. Brandon, Sean, morning. How are you guys going? Good morning, sir. Good morning, right. sir. Good, good. Good? Nice. Mm -hmm. You see these files are given you all to work on. I need it immediately. Mm -hmm. I need you all to work on it. No, no, no. You all understand me? Yes, sir. Uh, what in this file here is very confidential. Guarded with your life. If the building burning down, 
you jump on top the fire. <laughs> so keep it safe. There you go. And you see that money bag, all you still have there, all your skin and all your figure on, go and deposit that money bag for me today, please. Yes, sir. Yes, you are seeing. That's a way. Well do, sir. Where is Jessica, Abigail, and Cameron? They're working on some documents to Mr. Smith. He gave them a 4 p.m. deadline. All right. Good, yeah. good, 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 good. So, sure, I know you're enjoying your time here, man. Well, Mr. Young, it's a real informative experience so far. There's so much to learn. And I'm really glad for the opportunity because not many firms open up their doors and allow us to build our careers and our resumes. Yeah. So, yeah, it's really good. Oh, that's, good. That's, that's good to hear. Um, I started here as an intern too, you know. Yeah. yeah, and I work my way up now as a manager. Yeah. So, and I learn a lot from Mr. Smith. So I hope your experience here will be the same as mine. I would advise you to come here here too, right? <laughs> but, you know, all and all, well, things good. So remember to work on them files immediately for me, please, and I want it done now. If you need any help, you could call, you could come in my office, you could email, but just work on it now for me, please, right? Yes, Have a good day, guys. Mr. Oh, my hair, you are you love me. Yeah, but come there. Come That is weird. You don't want to get your to work too. Whoa. Man, I'm sorry about not being able to lime a lot these days, right? Yeah, but I feel like we have not time for that lately. Man, between this internship, my part time job, and my work family, mm -hmm. Sorry, I haven't had time at all, bro, boy. I know what you mean, but I, I feel an idiot. It's just mm -hmm. plus, with me, I'm dealing with some complicated feelings for a certain young girl. That young girl isn't perhaps Cameron, is it? Unfortunately, yes. Wait now. Ah. Oh, you know, is that obvious? <laughs> what do you mean? Anyway, what's up with your sister, man? One minute, I feel like... Yeah. So I'm feeling yeah. nice, nice, nice. Current for so, on the other hand, it's like she's the antech and I'm paying my bill for six months. Boop! Current gone. Uh, <laughs> my sister, the enigma. <laughs> well, let me tell you, those girls said that she has your name saved on her phone as big. <laughs> Come, Sean, stop playing with me now, man. I'm stop telling you. I'm telling you. In all seriousness, in all seriousness, I mean, I would really like to date your sister. You mean I thought that was happening already? Why would you think that? My boss. Um, um, you know, Brandon, I was kind of thinking that we should like go out or something. What do you think? Um, yes, yes, yes. Of yeah? course. But you know, long I've been wanting that. Say yeah. less. Okay then. You call it it. Let me check my calendar. Did no more trouble. No more trouble. This is going on here. Stay away. Too. You know what? You're too close. But look how far yes, yes, you're too close. You're too close. You're too close. You're too close. Relax now. So oh, here's what's going on, right, people? This is what's going on. This is what's going on. Do not let this mistake here distract you. We have the money to drop off for Mr. Young before okay. he throws a fit and tell me something else about myself. <laughs> and come. By the by, we have to talk about what happened last night at home. Huh? No, sure. We're not talking about anything. Get that done. No. Nope. We have to and we will. Being born three minutes ahead of you gives me the right to make, a, make that decision. End of discussion. Ugh, you sound like that. Of course. You could see it. Right? You see this? I really actually just came for this. Yeah, this looks like it. So later, Sean, Brandon, mm. call me, okay? I can. Bye. Will do. Gosh, boy, that sister. You are drooling, boy. <laughs> Relax yeah. yourself now, Gora. Let's go drop this off for Mr. Young, yeah? Yeah, of course, of course. But wait now. Mm. Sean, how much money did they say in the, on the receipt in this in this drop today? This pickup. This is 15,000? 15,000. 15, all this money we, we took in and all this money we collected. You think they'll miss? Even if I a little bit miss anything, they'll notice? What are you really asking, bro? I just think it. Yeah, of course they will miss their monies. 
Come, let's go deposit this money and get our get our blue right. Let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go and tell her line too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know how it is, you know, I mean, I'm just glad, you know, to have the day off and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I wouldn't really have time to do that because I have the appointment with Alice, so I would be able to do that, right? Yeah, I'll have to do that. I need that. help with scratching my... Oh, sorry, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. So, yeah, um, good file, right? Yeah, the file, the report. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 so... <sighs> I mean, make sure that everything is done when it's supposed to be done, oh, when it's supposed here. to... All right, guess what? I will have to call you back, right? Alice needs my undivided attention right now, all right? Okay, yeah. The back scratch. Babe, tell me Ooh. where you want me to scratch. Come on, talk to me. Right here. Uh, right here. Right here? In the, in the middle. In the middle. You right. go up. Yes. Well, you know, I have the magic fingers. You <laughs> That's know. how we got pregnant. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, yes. I love you, sweetheart. Oh, I love you too. <sighs> so tell me, my lovely Ugh. Alice, yeah, let me just take that out. So tell, me, tell me what you want to do with our lazy day at home. Come on, talk oh, to me. Well, uh -huh. I think we should just, you know, pop some corn and then. Rock back and just look at some movies and stuff like that. Very All much. right, okay, okay. Well, yeah. no one says pop some corn, eh? It's just we want popcorn, right? Yeah, but don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I ain't going to do nothing yet, man, right? Um, you're not going to get that? Of course not. Do you know why? Why? Because I'm spending quality time with my boo thing. Oh, <laughs> come on. You're so sweet. Come on, you so come much. on. <laughs> All right, so Ooh. yes, yes, yes. I know, no. I know we're home and you know, you pop some corn and stuff, but. Remember, we really have to watch the first Black Panther because yes, the new one yes. is coming out. And remember, we have our outfit already. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wakanda, Wakanda forever. forever. <laughs> All right, don't forget that. Huh? All right. But I mean, so now what we could do, we, you want to watch some TV? Some, yeah, some yeah, Martin, yeah, you can look at some TV. All right. All right yeah, Martin. Right. I'm going to say Martin. Ah, ah! What a lot of daddy! He's not dumb. Dragonfly. Jump! <laughs> No, 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 seriously, what Ooh. is he wearing? What was that? that? Uh, it was a uh, jacket and a uh, uh, white jersey. And who's that he went to? Boy! Show me! Hey, um, Martin, is that dummy boy? Who are you on the phone with earlier? <laughs> Nobody, baby. <laughs> um. <laughs> no one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You went to the person. <laughs> well, I mean, if I don't know the person, at least you know you could just say a name. Babe, it was nobody, all right? It was no one. Oh, jeez. I mean, we have to get things ready for Jack's promotion. Why, why is this a problem? <laughs> you know what? I, I, I can't. I can't deal with this anymore. It's, it seems as though every time we take 10 steps forward, we go 10 steps back. Babe. That will leave us in the same position. I don't, but, but, but listen, listen, I mean, <laughs> I mean, you ain't find it kind of dramatic, man. You think this is funny? No, I'm not saying it's funny, but I just find lately you've just been getting, I mean, angry at the simplest things. I mean, I know that we're married, but uh, privacy, you know? Oh. You know what? I'm done. I'm fine. I'm not finished. You know what? I feel as though we are slipping away. And, and, and this pregnancy, oh my goodness. This is driving me crazy. Mm. Uh, something as simple as saying who you were on the phone with. Uh, how am I to trust you? I babe, just, I just babe, need you to... Just, baby, just need to trust, all right? Just no. It's hard to... This is so hard to explain. Maybe my hormones must be having me a little crazy or something, but this was someone to, for you to just say who you were on the phone with earlier. I mean, that just makes me doubt you even more. Babe, there's no need to get on like this, all right? I mean, Why? You know, you, you know I love you, right? I mean, Are you sure? Yes, I'm happy. There's no need to be... Get it all like this and you cry. You seem so unfulfilled. I am. All right, look at the baby kicking and saying, listen, 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 listen. You can trust me, all right? Everything is, everything is okay, babe. I'm happy. Are you? Yes, I am. All right? Okay. So, you want to continue the movie or? 
Mm. I'll, I'll just go and take a shower or something and all right. lie down and watch all right, well, before I'll, come in. I'll, I'll, I'll come and check it just now, all right? Let me just clean up here. All right. <sighs> God, please help us. I'm just so frustrated. I'm just tired of this. I'm tired of the secrets and I'm tired of the lies. I'm tired of the pretense that everything seems to be okay. God, help us, please. Should I take this call? No, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. I mean, should I call back? No. I mean, I want to tell Alice, but she just won't understand. Why does he think I wouldn't understand? We have been married for five years. God. I love him. I love him so much. I love her so much, but I mean, <sighs> it's so hard. Lord, I just, I really just need to get this together. Lord, I, I just, I just don't know what to do. I mean, I really should tell Alice. I need to stop right now.
him. Have you said she be here already? And this girl late again. I'm fed up with this, you know. Have you always late? Look oh, at So sorry, eh? All right. What happened? You run here or something? And Abby, why are you late again? Don't tell me you was on another weed run with Brandon and Sean. So that's Sean this time. I think Brandon and Cameron. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Abby, you were convinced that they weren't an item, and you know, this was something, and I could. We had to get to the bottom of. Well, something changed. Because they have been communicating more often. So, I don't know. So, all now I could have been with Josh. Come to Isaac. Come to Isaac. Don't worry about that. <laughs> my point is, you're wasting my time. But, you know what? Abby, what's your plan? Your plan? Your plan. Plan for what? Your plan. Plan. Oh, oh, the plan! Yeah! <laughs> oh, okay. So the plan is we check her phone when she's not looking. What? Your high and five, Abby. That is the stupidest idea I've ever heard. First of all, Cameron has the latest note. It that don't matter. You have fingerprints and iris and things. We're not getting into that. So. So. Then what? How about to track her car? Track her car? How are we going to track her car? <laughs> True GPS, Abby. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, since you are the more techie one between us, then maybe you can do it. <laughs> and then when we track her car, what we do? So I had to read and spell out everything for you. After we track her car, mm -hmm. we'll follow her there. Got it. Gosh, man, I'll be the weed, the weed, the weed. It's time to get off it. It's not doing any good. Well, you should get on because you are a little uptight. <laughs> <laughs> Repeat what you just said. That's me. I thought so. You know what, Abby? I, I fed up. Let me just go through this plan one more time, please. Yeah, <laughs> the next time when we talk, mm -hmm. you're listening? Yes. We'll put the tracker in her car. We'll follow her there, and we'll be set. You get any of that? No. <laughs> you can repeat, please. <laughs> you know what, Abby? I think it's time for you to go home and sober up. I, I don't, I don't. Well, this was fruitful. So, you'll message me tomorrow when everything is just see. Right? You know what? <laughs> you message me when you reach home, okay? Get up. Mm -mm. And where you think you're going in that pants? Sean, go and get ready properly, please. The dinner party is in less than an hour. Yes, mom. And don't roll your eye at me. Yes, I saw that. Sorry. Where's Cameron? Maybe Ops is on the phone talking to Brandon. Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. Everything is about this Brandon boy lately. Cameron! Cameron! Cameron, get in the kitchen this instant, please. Oh. You called? Come on, What in heaven's name are you wearing? You bought this to me, remember? How long ago? When you were 12. Listen. Must you comment on everything, Sean? Come yes. on. Okay, you know what? Tonight is important to your father, all right? <laughs> so you need to go and change. Come on, the people from your father's job will be here any moment now. Tonight is important with your treatment where seriousness it deserves. LOL. LOL. Oh my Jesus, oh my sweet Lord. You always raise my blood pressure, you know? I swear to God, you raise my blood pressure. Listen, you all need to go and change. 
Somebody's not here. Hello, you come here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Miss Tina. Miss Tina. Oh, child. Oh, that dress a little small. You fine? Oh. Turn around, let me see you. Huh? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Yes, girl, a toilet. Your father will kill a turn the ground when you see her. Whatever. <laughs> no, 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 Miss Tina. She was just about to change it. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. You, go put on a proper pant. You, take that dress off. Would you all just go get ready, please? Fine. Good. So, oh, my gosh. Yeah. Miss Tina, how are you going? Come on, 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 come Jack is still leaving early and coming in late. And the other night, he and Cameron got into this huge fight. Miss Tina, I swear right now, this home is nothing more than a house. Okay. That's a bruise my knees some more for you, yes? Miss Tina, I would really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. You don't know I really appreciate that. You're welcome, dad. So, um, <coughs> you know what is, um, <coughs> the big announcement was I has to make tonight? No, girl. Well, um, listen. I, did this always keep me out of the loop on that job, you know? Oh, okay. I am sure, positive, one hundred percent sure, convinced that them hire me for my good looks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm, I'm sure that's why they hired you, Miss Tina. Yes, yes, I know. I'm telling you, <laughs> that's why they hired me. Oh, Lord. <laughs> but um, uh -huh. but wait, 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 Jack and Shoot. Um, he called a short while ago and he said he'll be here in a little bit. Okay. Yeah, he'll be here just now. Hi, babe. Oh, 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 here he is. Hey, hey. Speak of the devils and call it. Yes. Miss Tina, see you there comfortable. Yes, yes, yes. I said, let me come early to help your um, beautiful ride preparate for the dinner. Miss Tina. <laughs> Miss Tina, prepare. That's what I said. That's, that is no, what no, I no. said. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, hey. oh, my God. Look at Oh my God! Thank God, that's so beautiful. Yeah, the matching, the matching. <laughs> <laughs> Seven glorious months. Yes. yes. And I heard him mention something about my wife glowing now that she's pregnant. Mm. Uh, my wife was always glowing. Eh? Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Sure. <laughs> 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 Cameron, Cameron is upstairs, you know, she's getting ready. She'll be done in a moment. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't wait to see, you know, how big she's gotten, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. She's really big. Um, <laughs> Baby, you want to have a seat? My buddy, doctor. Oh, sure, yeah, Alice, come on. Uh, no, 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 no. I have been sitting down all day. So, oh, okay, I, yeah, you sure? I, would, I would prefer to babe, stand. Babe, <laughs> babe, why do you always do this? Do what? What the doctor has to say? Oh, this is why you want to bring up baby miscarriages. Babe, are you hormonal today? Okay, anybody would like to have a drink? You know, we have juice, we have water, we have malt, Kool-Aid. Water, please, sir. Water? Sure, come, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, you have a seat and make yourself comfortable, okay? Jack, yes, Jack will give you the glass of water. All right, that's for you. Oh, lovely, lovely. So, Walter, you know, what's this wonderful news that you have to make, you know? Yeah, no, what's that, sir? You had some news, son, announced. Oh, right, 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 yes. Um, you know what? I'll let, I'll let Jack tell you all about that. Okay. <laughs> Over to you, Jack. Take it away, honey. You're going to love this. Cameron, come in here. <laughs> Can't wait to share this really? with you. Cameron! <laughs> Can't wait to share this. Oh my yeah. goodness. What the what? What are you wearing? A dress. That you were told to change. Cameron, go and change that dress, no, please. Listen, you're embarrassing your mother, and I want to change it right now. <laughs> <laughs>
Shall I go? Hey, come on. I am not going to change this dress. I am going to really love this dress. So I'm going to stay in this dress if I'm to stay in this stupid dinner. Or I don't come. Well, you know what? Hey! Jack! We don't want to hear any of it. You know I'm here. You heard me? You know I'm here. Right now. That is not the way you have guessed. Fine. Let's Jack, come let in. her go. No, it's a family. I said, Sean, let her go. Jack, Leave me alone. Hey, it's me. What you want, Sean? What you want? What you want? What you want? What oh, you want? Come on, Cameron. I want to leave you alone, but something is not sitting right with me and you right now. What's going on with you? Sean, right now, I think dad has no kind of authority. Nothing, nothing, nothing to come at this late stage in my life to try to up his parents and game of whatever it is you feel he's doing. Nope, it's not working. Nope. Forgive me, sis, but you sound all, you hear all stupid. You sound right now. That is half the reason we are here, and to give him that kind of disrespect in front of people. Calm. Mom said change the dress. All you had to do was find another dress. Look, you have a whole wardrobe. This blatant rebellion of yours is not like you. You usually want to do the right thing. What's going on with you? What's going on? Well, Sean, Sissy Poo is tired. Tired of the whole charade. And from here on, I'm speaking out about it. I fed up, hold my tongue, and it didn't have nothing that could go on here that I would not talk about now. But if you want to, you know, continue, keep up the appearances for the masses or whatever, you can go ahead and do that. I won't judge you. But honestly, Dad has missed the most important years of our life, Sean. The most important years of our life, Sean. Sean, you know why? You know why, Sean? Because he had to work. He gonna miss our graduation. Why? Because he had to work. He missed all the worst obsessions now. Why? Because he has to work. And I look at all those girls and they that have their fathers and their parents and things to them and Sean I miss that and that's all I want and if daddy can't see that I, I I can't hush I can't but if you can cool you could go ahead show daddy's face daddy the head beacon daddy the business mogul daddy the entrepreneur the year Hmm. More like daddy, the deadbeat dad. Deadbeat, Cameron? That's what I said. That is a stretch. That is too much. It isn't for me, Sean. Then come, why not tell him all this instead of lashing out? Tell him? You think he had time to listen to me? All he does is show to me lately. Because you're acting up, calm. My fault, then. Listen, 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 listen. Daddy, we're not perfect, calm. But we grow now. We're not teenagers anymore. And whether we like it or not, the Bible does sit to honor our mother <laughs> and our fathers. Honor? Honor, Sean! Come on. The man said that you don't even want me here. How am I supposed to honor him if he does not want me here? You know what? Clearly, I am the problem. So, to alleviate the problem, I will just go and pack my suitcase and I will leave. The only reason he has a problem with me is because I talk in the truth and he know it. That is what happens here. And you see, mommy? She has no kind of backbone. She's let daddy walk all over. Cameron. Hmm. Why you just sound so bitter and angry so? And bitter? hateful. Hateful? Did I start a yes? Come. Mommy doesn't let daddy walk all over. Yes, she does. And I think they're trying their best because they want to give us all the things they never had. Their best. Their best, Sean. Yes, Cameron, their best. So... What if their best isn't enough? What if their best messes us up for the rest of our life? What then? What then, Sean? What then? Silence. Then we ask God to guide us through and we forgive them. 
We got to forgive them, come. Because if we don't, we're going to mess up our own kids. Listen, daddy is not perfect. We are not perfect. But come, I know what I'm going to say is going to throw you off coming from me and all. But your approach isn't making things easier. You're making the man trip. <laughs> Listen, I want to do something for me. Try. Sure. Try. Come on. Try and have a conversation with dad. Tell him what's going on in that big head of yours. All right? Can you do that for me? All right, now, of course. All right, all right. Bring okay. it to me. I know things might be looking too good right now, but mom and dad love you. And I kind of love it. Whatever. Right? So, change your dress. Come and get something to eat. And I'll see you downstairs, okay? All right, so come in. Change the dress. Okay, Sean. Good night, sir. You wanted to see me? Good night? You, 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 you fast forward in time. It's only afternoon, you know? O okay, sir. Good, good afternoon or good evening. All right, skip the pleasantries now. Where are we with this plan? Sir, so Sean is a difficult guy to trap. But what, what do you mean by that, Brandon? So what I mean is, he's into what he's into. And what he's into is, well, you know, the weed. Weed, Brandon, weed. Come now, man. We, we, we have to get him on something bigger than weed. Weed is a small thing. But I've been trying, sir. Trying. Trying, come now, man. Try harder. That is your friend. You know what he did? could do from what he cannot do? Wait till you study and so. I try my best, sir. Your best, your best is good enough right now. Right? Look, what what happened? You don't want this job? I want the job, sir. I want the job. I want the job. So then what is the issue? So, but listen, you see all this bots and bots. I fell up at you and this nonsense, you know. Hear what? Execute the plan as we discussed and let us get the show on the road from a please, right? Okay, sir. Cameron will hit what me Cameron? for this. But you studying Cameron and have better fish in the sea. Cameron is our body. That's not what let us call them now. But, sir. No, 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 no but. Just get out more office. I'm going to do some work here for me, please, and, and execute the plan. Get out. Okay, sir. Okay. Judgment, man. Okay, Abby. I have the deeds on her last four locations. I got it here. Ooh, nice going, Jess. Thank you, thank so, you. So, is she going on with Brandon or not? You see, that's the thing I don't know, you know. Where Brandon living again? On the corner of um, East View and Preston. You sure? Yes, Kim. Um, well, this saying she was only there once, and all the other time she was in some area. Regent Morris. What's she doing there? Regent Morris? Why that name sounds so familiar? Do I know where the, I know where the old lady from church lives in? You think she's going to visit the old lady from church? Abby, <laughs> if that is the case, then you would have successfully wasted my time yet again. Gosh, get off your high horse, Jess. We are doing this to help our friend. Our friend? Yeah. So, you don't think it will be way much simpler if we ask our friend, what's in the Charles Dickens story of Moby Dick is going on with her? First of all, Moby Dick is written by Herman Melville. Charles Herman, same person. And second of all, were you not there last week when we tried to ask her about it and things went left? I say, we stop her and catch her in her tracks. She's been my friend for five years, so I know when something off. All right, you have a point. Yes. But if I find out that this is where that little old lady lives in, eh, Abby? Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Well, congratulations on your new job, you know, brother, man. I mean, how does it feel to be a new CFO? Honestly, feels great. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I always do not do that, Gator boy. I mean, you have such a good work ethic. Um, where's Sarah? You want to want to talk to her? <laughs> She's still acting up, boy. Listen, acting up is a joke. Every day without fail. She even blames you for how Cameron is getting on. But listen, I did a good job. Look at Sean. Yeah. 
He's a good boy, man. He's a good boy. Yeah, I mean, Sarah just needs to understand that what I'm doing, I'm doing it for them. It's God this, God that. God knows I have to work, you know. It's true. You understand? It's true. This house, the bills, it ain't going to pay for itself. What I'm doing, I'm doing it for them, and she needs to understand that. It's true. I do it for a nice house here. I like this. Um, what do you call this again? I don't know. But it look nice. It look nice. Yeah, man. <laughs> I've been paying you well. But, you know, you're preaching to the choir, but because all Alice seems to do lately is complain. I know I haven't been there in worship for a while, but uh, that's inconsequential, you understand? And, you know, I mean, the elder really has been saying that he hasn't seen you in church, and nobody could fill your shoes, Jack. You know All that. right, we know that, yeah? But I have things to do. All right, so, about Cameron, though. What about her? I mean, you didn't find you was little, you know, rough with her earlier, you know, and the way you just spoke to her. I mean, she seemed kind of disappointed the way that, you know, you, you, you yelled to, to her, you know. Walter, you don't have children. Well, okay. about to. I mean, yeah, but not yet. <sighs> All right? You're going to learn. You think when I was her age, I could have talked to my father like that? No. no, no All right? No. I don't understand where all this attitude coming from, from her, no? I mean, but, uh, Jack, there must be something that you're doing wrong. You know, there's some underlying issue that she just needs to, you know, tell you about. There's something that you're doing Walter, I am old school. You know why she is you? Do as I say. All right, brother. I mean, I just think that you should try. You know, you should try to talk to her. Walter... You are still pesting me. Right. What is it which you defending Cameron all of, a, all of a sudden? No, no, no. I'm not saying nothing. I just saying, you know, there's something about you, you know, something about your technique just not working. Walter, just she is her. not 10 years old, okay? She is 21. And if she wants to act like a grown woman, I'm going to treat her like one, okay? I'm all not going right. to cuddle her. Hey, all right. All I'm saying, I understand what you're saying. I agree with you. Okay. I just say it. You should still try. I mean, you can't be so good at work and then, I know, at home, you know, things start... Hold up, you... hold up, hold up, hold up. Don't go there, okay? Sir? You have no idea about my home life, okay? All you need right. to give me a break. All right, I just, I just stay in. You know what? Let me take this call, right? Walter, give me a break. Hello. Two clouds. Mm -hmm. Two clouds for Cameron and she will know how to behave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel all about the sense you buy me, you know. Let me fix you up nice, 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 and send her back. This you just need to have respect and know the place. Yes. Miss mm -hmm. Tina, mm. it's really not that simple, you know. I mean, I could understand where she's coming from. You understand? Yes. But explain it to me, right? Explain it. Because right now, I just feel to go upstairs and hold up my hand and drag her back down here. This you just need to know, no matter how reckless your parents are, you need to have respect. All the youngins, they strain them so, and then baffle when they turn out so. Say, now here, tell me about you understand. Miss Tina. No, I, I was wrong. It's you. It's you need the clout. Mm -hmm. Miss Tina. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stressing all the senior citizens, and all already know is that diabetes. Miss <laughs> mm -hmm. Tina. A diabetes? Don't even bother to That is what the doctor said. <laughs> okay, Miss Tina. Miss Tina. Alice, Mm -hmm. I see all by um property of the road by me. How are we all enjoying Regent Morin's so far? Um, well, I haven't mm. seen the place as yet. What? Um, but 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 you know, I, I just didn't have the time and with the pregnancy and you know, just getting ready for this bundle. What? This little bundle when it soon whole comes. A <laughs> whole house and you too. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Um, Fingers crossed. <laughs> Um, Alice? Yes, Miss Tina? <laughs> you ain't see the place yet, exactly. <laughs> Make that make sense? Well, well, I have seen it in pictures. Picture. You know, and, and well, of course, Walter would have um, seen your place, and he likes it very much, and, what? you know, um, um... Uh, what you really saying, Miss Tina? Well, well, that is crazy. <laughs> Well, as we are on the topic of the little bundle of joy, um, the Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the Holy Spirit has moved me to talk to you about your attitude towards our world. Yes, tell her. Christina, tell her. Hmm. My attitude? Mm -hmm. Yes, your attitude. You have to talk to the man like that. Mm -hmm. hmm. That is why so many young marriages fail in nowadays. All the always and all the dirty laundry in public. Correct, Miss Tina. Tina. He was implying. He was implying, and you was did assumption, right? That, listen, if the man was genuinely checking on you, you know we just feel mm -hmm. when we lost baby, them man's doesn't, doesn't hurt too. Men. Them be hurting too. Them man's does hurt. <laughs> 
Miss Tina, what? I mean, look away. Are you doing I have to run into the office. We got the deal, and I'm going to do the paperwork right now. What? Really, Jack? You have to leave to go into the office now? This cannot wait until in the morning? Unfortunately, babe, it can't. We need to deal with it right now. No, Jack, come on. I, I just think you could wait until listen, in the morning. Listen, listen. After I'm finished, I'll make it up to you guys. You could go for dinner. Jack, you always say that. You I, said that the last time. I know, but this time, it'll be the last time. <laughs> you know what, Jack? I just... I'm so tired of this. I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. I don't want to hear it. I can't do it anymore. Shh. Can't. Oh, well, um, <laughs> I am going to get some water. Um, Alice, you want anything to drink now? No, Miss Tina, I'll be fine. All right. Um, Jack, come on, have an old woman here. Sure, mm -hmm. So we're going to move on to... to... <laughs> yes, yes, thank you. Let me go this way. Go ahead, Miss Tina. Yes, thank you, darling. <laughs> Oh boy, so things didn't go as the way it planned, huh? Not one bit. I, I'll talk to Sarah. You, you don't worry, Thanks, okay? Thanks, I appreciate it, yeah? Uh, friend to friend, though, you better keep your promise. <laughs> From the way things looking, it seems as though all hell would break loose. I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay. Tell him, you know, you just had a talk to her. You know. hmm. That's all I say. I know hey. I hey, I told Daddy would have been here and everybody keeps saying that we need to talk things through. Oh, I no. He's, but have a seat now, have a seat. You sure that's a good idea? Come on, have a seat now, give up on, sit down. <laughs> all right. So, where my father anyway? Well, I don't want to hear this, but um, something came up at the office, so we had to go and deal with that. Excuse? What? You heard me. Something came up and he had to go. He left his dinner to go to work? Yes, unfortunately. So he's at work? Correct. This is the same thing I'm talking about. This is exactly what I am talking about. I come to sit down. And all things with him, and, and he gone. He left, and he gone. You know, I feel like my father, he don't care. He don't, he don't love me. He don't care about me or anything. It had to be that. No, 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 Cameron. Listen, it's not that at all, all right? Listen, your father is one of my best employees, all right? <sighs> and, I mean, he's just doing what he has to do to make sure that you guys have all of this? I mean, at, the, at the risk of destroying our family. No, man. He's never around. You own the whole company and you're still here. Why are you still here and he's gone? Why did he have to go? You know, I feel the real issue is that we make him feel unfulfilled or we make him feel unhappy and he just had to get anywhere except for being near us, you know? He, he didn't even know what is really going on inside of this house anyway. He didn't even know that Sean, Sean's smoking weed non-stop and... What? And I... I... Cameron. <laughs> Cameron, come on. Why are you... Come on, don't <laughs> cry. Listen, you know you're stronger than this, right? What? <laughs> come on. You know... Listen, listen, listen. I, I will make things better, okay? How can you be so sure? Listen, listen. <laughs> As his boss, I will make sure he spends more time with you. Really? Of course I'll do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, come on, come on. You are so, so amazing. Oh my gosh. You know I'm here for you. <laughs> oh, okay. So good, this thing looking good here, boy. Mm. Hey, hey, all it is come back. 
Well, that means Ole like the comments. Well, I is here to give Ole recaps. For starters, the house you see behind me is the house that Jack built. Yes, yes, and no. But the man that Ole say no, the man who have no time for God, mm -mm, he wasn't always so, you know, mm -mm, he always just be praying and asking God for the job, the money, and the children, and the wife. Hmm. Now he married, had two children, and is the CFO of Walter and Co. <laughs> Papa laps. And well, his wife Sarah bought him two children, Cameron and Sean, them as twins. Hmm. Sarah did frustration, you know. Hmm. She can't done bro, she needs for Jack. Because Jack have no time for God, he on a money mission. And well, um, his boss, Walter, Mary Alice, she did pregnant. Hmm. Listen. <laughs> Them lost about three pregnancies, you know. Hmm. Listen, I can't done ask God to help us see her through this full term. Hmm. She got frustration if she can't bear child by Walter. Well, um, Jack Children had three friends, Jessica, Abigail, and Brandon. Hmm. I ain't like that Brandon boy too much, you know. I find he, he loves skimish and he just gets on like he jealous, Sean, but... Them is friends who is me this poor old, old woman to say. Anyways, um, when last all did see we together, right, right, it was a Jack Dinter. Um, Jack went back to work and Sarah um storm out. And well, um Cameron and Walter was in a bit of a compromising position. So we will go back to that scene. Light man, you can take it away now. In that scene, let me go fast. <laughs> but what it is really going on in here? <coughs> oh, no, nothing at all. Um, I was just giving her some much needed advice on um on how to you know talk to her father. Yes, yes. Is that so? Yeah, yeah. You was just saying that you know me and Daddy need to talk things through and everything. Yeah. I sure I believe all in What? What you saying, Mister? I said if I say so, but um, Walter, uh -huh. you know your wife, um, Sarah, sit down. Alice, sorry, sit down outside waiting on you. Who? Sorry? Alice. Oh, my, my wife, of course. Yes, um, <laughs> yes, no problem. Um, let me, I hope everything works out for you and your father. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, Miss Tina, I'll see you in the office tomorrow, okay? It's tomorrow, please, the Lord. Yes, Lord. L L -D. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Miss Tina, you want me to get you some juice or something? I, t I tell her, I don't want no juice, I have diabetes. But listen, what is it I want you to do? I want us to sit down so we can have a little heart to heart. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know you're getting big and you're feeling yourself. Um, how old are you how, how to now? I'm 21. Oh, so your feelings are big woman and you can talk to your father any which way, please. I don't feel I like... I just not finished. That is your father. Well, halfway. Because his sperm struggled to find the mother egg. That is how you reach here. But anyways, the Bible did say, honor your mother and your father. Listen. You will soon understand that this parental thing is a learning curve. Your father trying, child. Mm-hmm. All you don't get. All you? Hmm. All you really don't get. All I don't you. care. So know that my father tried. I don't care. Mm. I haven't had a good conversation with my father in some, no, some years. Let me try some years. He never had time for me, okay? So I really don't care to know that he tried, you know, and... <laughs> Miss Tina, what? No, I'm waiting for you to finish. <laughs> Miss Tina, first to begin with, I just want to hear friends and them you could talk to any which way, please. I, and second, you're going to sit down and listen until I, Miss Tina Child, say it's time to speak. Miss Tina. I said to sit down. Oh, so you feel afraid to use one of these weapons of mass destruction? Sit down. All right. Shut all the poor senior citizens. Is what I was saying? You were trying to. I didn't say. ask you nothing. What? Anyways. <laughs> I was saying that your father trying his best to make all the comfortable in this nice place, but that is not the point. Despite, his, despite it all, I know your father loves you with all his heart and soul. He always talking about you and Sean in the office. It's really sad that you think about him this way, you know. 
<clears throat> if you really think about it, all your life, how much times you can think about him not being around to give you the love that, that you're, you're accustomed to, eh? Is he the such a bad person you're painting him to be? <clears throat> I did remember when I was 10, and my father left my mother for this ugly, ugly, ugly bat. And I watched my mother struggle to raise me and my eight siblings. Eight? Well, they know they have, you know. Listen, not people wish they had a father around to have them in the same home. For us to have all the things that your father provided for us to grateful children. Christina, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not me after apologies to, you know, it's your father. Well, you have given me a lot to consider. I, ju I just didn't think about things like that. I know, I know you don't think, but you know, it's not me. It's, listen, it's not me I have to confess to. You have to go to God and repent because, girl, right now, God ain't like what's going on here at all, at all, at all. All right. I ain't, I ain't finished. At all, at all, at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. No, okay. Hmm. You gave me a lot to consider, right? I'll, I know. I'll think about it. And one more thing. Mm -hmm. um, I like what I see when I come in here earlier on with you and water. Eh? That is a married man. Fix it fast. Okay. Yes, we see that. All right. I is gone. Come and help me pick up my weapons of mass destruction. Hmm. So nobody going to bring up the fact that the Washingtons had a fancy family dinner didn't invite us? Wait now. Tom didn't invite you. Why would you do that, Abby? Because we thought we were together. Together, you say, you know? Why would you think that? I don't know. I mean, for starters, she does have your number saved in her phone as B. Mm -hmm. So we just thought that, you know, there's a possibility. Hey, guys. Hey. hey. Good thought what? Sean, does Cameron ever tell you who she's dating? <laughs> no. I've always thought it was this guy here. Wait, 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 Why? wait, wait, wait. Why everybody seems to think that Cameron and I dating? We haven't even been on one proper date. She always calls it off. Really? 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 <laughs> How all of you could know that Cameron and I dating? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, they say uh, weed does affect your brain, but I it mean, ain't that bad. Well, for starters. Now, some, uh-huh. Every time she's not with us, you know, she's saying she's out with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when Bay calls, she says it's you. Is so that true? imagine our confusion here today when you are staying all in that together. Good hey, morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm Ronald. Say that we have the reports that we were doing last week and it's 11 a.m. And something about some kind of checks on. Why are everybody looking at me like that? What happened? Come with me. Mm -hmm. Excuse me? Where's your phone? Sean, what do you Give me your Take phone. Take your time. What happened? Who is B? So, that's the neighbor's. What? What, what did I just Talk walk into? You've been lying to us all. So lying yeah. about yeah. what? Sean, Come. Brandon, I need to see both of you in my office. No. Okay, okay so, so what's this about? We found some evidence on your death, Sean, that we need to discuss. No. What? Oh, okay. You, you need me to come with you? No, I, I got this, I got this. Um, what was that about? I don't know, but I really hope Sean not in kind of trouble, oh my no, goodness. I have to go, let me go and see. You want me to come with you? Let me come with no, you. No, you could stay here, babe. <laughs> okay, this is so weird. Tell me about this, I don't, I don't And understand. by the way, why are you lying to us? Lying, lying about what? Oh, what you oh, stop, stop, stop. We know you're not seeing Brandon. Mm -hmm. So, if it's not Brandon, you're speaking to who is Bay? Who is Bay, Cameron? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Who is it you're really talking to, Cam? Guys, let, let me not talk about that, right? Let me change the topic. How are you doing? Cameron, what? we are your best friends. Your best friends. I would like to think that if you're seeing somebody, you can at least let us know. Exactly. Listen, listen, listen. Olya? Yeah? It's not that simple, okay? It's not that simple. Come, what? What do you mean it's not that simple? Listen, this, this involves way too many people, okay? And something's just better left unsaid. Come, so let's leave it ah. as that. 
please, 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 you all do this. Come on, <laughs> calm. You know, you can tell us anything. We're not judgmental. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, all you really want to know? Yes. yes. Huh? Oh, okay. thank God. This is terrible. Okay. Okay. <laughs> The person mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. I'm seeing mm -hmm. is Walter. What? what? I know, I know, I know he's married. Okay, I'm very, very married. Very married. <laughs> and his wife is pregnant. I'm very, very pregnant. Cameron, you have to end it today. Her day today. Cameron, this <laughs> is very messed up. Very okay, messed okay. Up. You don't think I know that already? Cameron, how? Matter of fact, forget it. You are going to his office today. Not here today. Come on, God. God will not be pleased about it. You see this? I, I don't need this. Or they just, it must be hot Lord nope. Jesus, mm. please help our friend. Amen. So you want to see us? Morning, morning. Have a seat. It is bothering me that so early in the morning, the first thing in the morning, I have to be having this discussion with you. Oh, okay. Right? Um... We found some evidence on your desk showing that we need to discuss. Okay, okay. Do you know what this is? Yes, sir. These are the receipts that we deposit, de deposit the money in the bank the other day. Sure about that? Yes, the receipts. So what is this here? This looks like a check for 15000 but I've never seen this before. What do you mean you never see that before? I sir? have never seen this before, sir. Sean, but we found it on your desk. You could have, I have never seen this before, Mr. Young. In yes. fact, Brandon was with me that day when we went to deposit hey, the money. Sure, Sean, I can remember us having a conversation. Better you leave me out of this. Bro, what are you All saying? Right, remember, you okay. asked if they would see if any was missing. I cannot remember having that conversation All with you, right, Big okay. man, why you like... Brandon and Sean, okay. Hear what is going to happen. Right? We are going to do an investigation, right? And whatever comes out of it, you will have to take legal matters if anything comes out of it. Brandon, why are you lying? Hey, 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 tell hey, the man hey, 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 the truth. I tell the man the truth. Listen to me. We've been friends Sean. for so long. I Mr. Have I have never seen it. this before. All right. Tell the truth. You Brandon, why are you turning your back? Brandon, Sean, tell the man the truth. Take a legal investigation. I don't know what are you Listen to me. I have never seen Security. this before, Mr. Young. I have never seen this. Security. Why are you like, we've been friends for so long, already? you do this to me? Sean, from a Listen, I have never seen this. I am being set up. Security. Listen to me. Hey, hey, tell the man the truth. This is not, I didn't do this, dog. Can I tell you, Sean? <laughs> oh, boy, Brandon. Job well done, man. Job well done. Sir, so, uh, I'm supposed to be his friend. Friend what? You just allow Jesus for 30 pieces. You gain a whole job. 15,000 a month. That's what going on with you? I am feeling good about it. You yeah, feeling good? You know what? Strep cells or something? <laughs> All right. I well. just want the job that you promised me. All right. Well, go ahead. The job is yours. Uh, oh, I'm um, Brandon. If you tell anybody about this, you and I are going to fall out very badly. Do you understand me? Okay, sir. Go ahead. <laughs> this is unacceptable. The city lease. Come on. Listen, listen, listen. I mean, we work really hard on this. Just give us a chance. Hello, could you could. Why are you, you cutting me off? Hello, listen. I really, really need hey. you to understand how hard we've worked on this. Oh. Listen, listen, all right? 
Just give me a time and a place, and I will be there, all right? Uh-huh. Yes. All right. Thank you so much, okay? We really, I will get this done. Thank you. Hey, Kami Kams, what's up? Hey. Um, I could have just come back for your visa, you know. Just... You know, I'm never too busy for you. You have a seat. You sure? Cameron, have a seat. What's up? Okay. Um, oh, it's, how was your day? Uh, it's good. <laughs> I mean, a little hectic, you know. I want to get this, this job closed, but um, yeah. you okay? I'll find you. Yeah, um, I can have a fidgety. Yeah, well. Oh. Cameron? I can. I can, I can tell you, well, I want... Cameron? <laughs> Cameron, what happened? Cameron, you know I was here for you, right? Walter. As you say, Walter. You, you can't always be here for me, Walter. So, that's exactly why, why I came to you here, right? Um, we need to end things because... God, God, what are God not pleased with what is he doing? What's yeah, up? but what have I done? I mean, why, why are you angry with me? No, you didn't do anything. Sit, sit. You didn't do anything, right? It's just I got time to think things through. I, I got time to think about to think about you, to think about me, to think about Alice. She's your wife. What's up? What's up? She's your wife, your wife. Yes, 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 I know, I know, Cameron, all right? Um I've been thinking about her too, right? And how this, you know, will affect her. Um, but, Cameron, you just, you just brought back life in my broken spirit, Gil. Walter. Hmm. You know what I think? I think we probably made things different from how it should have been, you know? I mean... I enjoy our time together, and, uh, you know, I really, really enjoyed it, but I keep thinking about Alice, and, you know, she's such a loving and a caring woman, what, I, I can't is. believe I do this, uh, I, I so why are you saying I, hello, we, all right, I had a part to play in this too. I hope she never finds out, she must never find out what, I mean, it, it was just sex, right? Wait, what? Why would you say that? I guess part of me just wanted to know if I meant more than that. Listen, listen, you know you meant more, right? You know that. I mean, it's just that, you know, I love Alice and I love the baby that's growing inside of her, you know? I mean, I think we just got caught up in a moment that should not have been. I guess it must be that. No, but listen, all right? Alice will never find out, all right? Okay. All right, she'll never find out, all right? But we, have to, we need to stop talking about this because your father's office is close by, all right? I promise, all right? I promise, I promise that she'll found out. You heard that? Um, Who was that? It's probably Tina. She's real clumsy, all right? She has been bumped some over things, right? She, you don't have to worry about that, all right? Okay. But listen, Cameron, if I was younger, if, if things were different, you would have been the one that I would marry. Hmm. What well, so you don't mean that? No, I do, I do, I really do. You mean so much to me too, but I have to go. I really should go. Listen, listen. She would never find out, all right? All right. God. I feel so hurt and broken. I, I know he wasn't mine, but I can't help but feel so broken. And I really, really need you to help me. Help me to overcome. God, help me, please. I keep hearing voices in my mind that say I'm Every single lie that tells 
At the end of the day, I am still mad at you. So I just think that since you do not want to resolve the issues that I am having with your total abandonment of this family, then you keep your distance and I will keep mine. Are you serious right now? This is supposed to be the happiest moment of my life and you are making it all about you. Excuse you? All about me? Well, Where you know go. what, Jack? I think that if I'm making this all about me, then it's high time that I do that. Never once, Jack, have I complained to you about your long hours and your absence from family worship, from church, from outings, family gardens, the kids' graduation, and other important milestones in their lives. I have never once ruined these moments for you, Jack. I have watched you sacrifice your family to climb the corporate ladder. And I have never once spoken a word of anger to you. Instead, I have knelt and I have prayed for you. And I have asked God to grant you every success. But I would have you know, Jack Washington, that you cannot just trample on the feelings of the kids and I and not expect some kind of retaliation. Why? Why do you think, Jack, that Cameron is acting out? Because she's been a spoiled brat. That's why. Wow. Wow, Jack, you are unbelievable. Jack, when last have you sat down? I mean, really sat down and had a conversation with your one and only daughter? When last? Oh, so you're not going to answer? You are not going to answer me. 
And you see, this, this is exactly what, this is exactly why I'm not happy, Jack. I'm not happy. Because every time I try to talk to you about the issues that are affecting our family, you just shut down and you behave as though they don't matter to you. I'm not happy. Right now, we're dealing with time urgency, Just okay? Right now, we cannot take on whatever it is we're talking Alice. about it later. So well, right. what I have to tell you. Alice, listen. Sean, you're not listening to us, okay? We will deal whatever it is. They fired me from M&M. What? what? They told me I stole $50,000 and it's a legal investigation. How can what? you steal the money, Sean? I didn't you didn't take the money. Oh, 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 that mercy. I didn't raise your shoulder, shoulder like this, or no? Okay, I did not raise your shoulder like this. What I get, right? Um, what is going on here? This is what I get for the blood, sweat, and tears I put in this company. All right, first thing first, lawyer voices. All right, you're in my office. Calm down, please. I don't know what to do. Don't tell me to calm down, right? So you're going to stand here and act like you don't know what you're talking about? Firstly, I'm sitting, all right? I have no idea what you are talking about. Could you just come in and have a conversation with me, please? I'm not going to come in. I want to stand in front of the office to let everybody know what a stinking son hey, of... Yeah, 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 listen now. I am still your boss. Still my boss? Yes. When I finish with you, you're going to wish you wasn't born. All right, just... So you give me a promotion so you could sleep with my daughter. What? My what? daughter! What? 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 what are you talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about. Listen, listen. This is my office. Need to are back you up. denying it? Need to back up a bit, Are you okay? denying listen, it? After all we've been through, you really asking me... Listen, I have Who's no idea. Who's calling your phone? It's my phone, it doesn't matter. Who is calling your phone, Walter? Listen, 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 hello, it does not matter who I'm Walter, saying. why is Cameron calling your phone? Why Cameron calling your phone? All right. First thing first, this is a custom-made suit, okay? So if you could just take your hands off of me, let me explain this, all right? Walter, Walter, just, tell me what's going just on. Just now, we just now. Let, let, let me tell you, all right? Those fists, just, just loosen it a bit, okay? Let's talk like men, all right? Cameron and I. Cameron and I, all right? <laughs> we have been sleeping with you. What? That's a wet, 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 wet! That's how she was calling! That's how she was calling! Wet, just out! Just go, just go, just go out! My daughter! Hey, hey my suit, my suit! Cameron Jenna Washington. I mean, what in heaven's name were you thinking? Sleeping with Walter? Huh? I mean, when and how did this happen, Cameron? Listen, I am so mad at you, eh? 
at the end of the day, you have disappointed me, you have disappointed your father, but most importantly, Cameron, you have disappointed God. How could you make this happen? I said I was sorry. Sorry? Sorry, that is all you can really say? Walter is your father's boss, Cameron. His boss. And he's a married man. I know, Mommy. It, it wasn't supposed to happen like this. It's just, he was there for me and I ended up falling for him and everything. I, Mommy, it was, it, was, it was more than just sex for me. <laughs> Listen to me, child. Okay, so saying, it, saying it out loud really make me sound stupid. I swear oh, so. oh, so you know, right? You know, you really should be embarrassed. Because at the end of the day, your father and I did not raise you this way, Cameron. And then to be so disrespectful to Alice. You, she should have snatched you. I, you. I mean, Cameron, how could you let this happen? How long has this been going on? I don't know. I'm not Listen sure. to me. How long, Cameron? Some months. Months? Months, Cameron? Okay, it ended, okay? I ended it today. I ended it. Okay? Listen, I don't care that you ended it, Cameron. It should not have started in the first place. I mean, I can kill you for your stupidity. Kill me? That's a bit dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> so you really think that you have the right to be cynical and sarcastic no? Of course, no, huh? no. At the end of the day, I do want to kill you because you were stupid. But then the Bible says thou shalt not kill, so they start. <laughs> Wait, Cameron, did you give your virginity to this man? Mommy, but... Go, listen, answer me. Yes, um... Cameron, are you serious? Mm -hmm. You're trying to be all prude now? Where was that when you was lying down underneath Walter? Who is that? Who is that? <laughs> I'm coming right back, eh? I'm not finished with you. Jack and Walter fighting in your office. Uh. What? Jack beating Walter bad, bad, bad. And well, I come down here to give uh, Miss Cameron two hot ones since your parents do not correct these youths. Miss Tina, no. listen. You feel I could be doing that nonsense in my mother's house? You have to be mad. The Bible said thou shalt not commit adultery and I was here humping the people and them as well. I love you and Jack, you know, but let's take it too easy on, on these picnics and them. <laughs> with your road self, I should box you them out and knock out all the Nobody wants to kiss you with your naughty Ms. self. Tina, what are you mm. saying? I mm. said I was sorry. Yes, mm. Sorry, the past chicken curry. The woman, uh, the man, the woman and pregnant and struggling already. Listen, I could box you back in the past to stop you from doing that nonsense, you know. Ms. You better go and apologize to Alice. I will, I will. Listen, this is such a disaster, Cameron. I am so disappointed in you. I am so disappointed. But you didn't hear what I said? Jack and Walter fighting now in the office. Go and deal with that first. So, Miss Tina, you just left them there to fight? They did not listen to me, and that is your husband. So, I come here to tell you. <laughs> you listen, I'm dealing with... You listen to me, young lady. I will be back to finish this conversation. Don't worry, I will deal with Cameron. You go ahead. Me, okay, okay Miss Tina, and I'm just heading. I'll be back, okay? I'll be back. I really hope the sex was worth it to know because sinning for bad sex is just a waste of sin. <laughs> going to do everything in her might to protect you. Hey, I'm home. Good for you. I guess you heard, huh? <laughs> Serves you right for what you did. Alice, Alice, I'm sorry. Right. What up to your face? Jack. So very good. Yeah, but I really am sorry. What was it, Walter? Huh? I felt you slipping away from me and you denied it. What was it? Was it tight good enough? 
What about me? Well, it wasn't you, all right? It wasn't you. I just got confused. Confused? You were confused? You know what? I heard everything that you told Cameron in that office today. What? I heard everything, and I, I, just, I just can't understand why you would do something like this. You, you told Cameron that she lifted your broken no, spirit. No, I didn't and that mean she, that. That it was just more than about sex. What about me, Walter? I was broken too. I needed my husband. Why would you dare for me and for us? Alice, please. Alice, I really didn't mean for this to happen. Okay. You please wait me. Why are you not sorry? No. I, I, I am. Just, just be sorry. Sorry for just sorry for what you're not doing for not being here for this pregnancy for us. So just say sorry. flowers at my door Maybe it's your ego or just your foolish pride It's like a knife on your mind You bring me flowers like you did before You don't go out to dinner no flowers at my door. Maybe it's your ego or just your foolish pride. It's like a knife 
Yeshua. He tested all the antivirus, not you alone, all of the antivirus. Right? They see we at MM, right? Unlike Walter and Co., we look for people with integrity, who's loyal, who stands for what is right, you know, and so on and so on. And you made the cut. Beside your weed runs, which we know about, you are a very good employer. So I am offering you the position. You are hired. Mr. So Young, you serious? Yes, so wait, I'm wait, serious. So wait, Brandon was part of this plan? Yes, he was part of this plan, but he didn't make the cut. He's, he's a way satan. Yeah, boy. So, Mr. Young, you being serious? Yes, I am serious, Sean. Mr. Young, thank you, thank you so much, man. All right. Hey, right, I right. have to go and take my phone. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, yes, yes. It's yes. official. It's real. It's real. Right. So, it's three quarters official. Right? So, you just have to come by the office, sign some papers, uh, go through an orientation, and it's official. Come, calm down. I know that is the weed jump in there. Easy. <laughs> All right. All right. So I could go and tell my family and the criminal sign and everything. It's yes. You good to go? Criminal sign and you're good to go. Welcome to MLM. You could call me Ronald now. Ah, uh, so, yeah. Mr. Yeah. All right, Mr. All right, Ronald. Ronald. Yeah. Cool, cool, yeah. cool. Thank you. Take thank you. Easy. Yes. Good boy. Real. Real. Mom. It's a good thing that I got there when I did, Jack. Yeah, thankfully, you know. I Hold wanted this. to kill him. Kill him? And then what? What would have been our position then? You would have gone to jail. I swear, Jack, you really don't think things through. I don't know how we end up in this situation. How did our baby girl end up in this mess? I don't know, Jack. I don't know. A part of me knows, you know. Really? What? It's like you were saying. Oh! Like I was saying, well, this is going to be very good. <laughs> Here. Come. You need to keep this against your face. Come. You see, when Walter and I was fighting, mm -hmm. I could hear you saying that I wasn't making time for you. I wasn't making time for God. I wasn't making time for our family. Babe, I felt like my whole life was just crumbling. Mm. It was the most helpless experience of my life. And God has a funny way, you know. It was in that moment I was hearing him saying, I need you to make room for me. Oh, wow, babe. Wow, that's, that's really, really deep. That's so profound. Oh. Shock to see him here. Shush, calm. Hey, everybody! Hi, son. Hi, Cameron. What's the good hey, to you, Sean? Well, I have some really good news. Okay. I what? got a job at m, &M. What? I'm telling you. So what about the whole money laundering, it stealing? It was a whole big test, Ronald was saying. A test. A, a test. test. A test. Listen, a it matters not. What it matters is that my baby is safe. Oh, my God. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Oh, my God. You Good know, we job. Oh, Good job. Oh, my God. I mean, thank you so much, Jesus. I got thank you, too. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, <laughs> congratulations, Cameron. Thank you. Um, well, on the other side, though, Brandon didn't get in. Really? Nope. So it's in my poorly put my truth. Okay. No, yeah, no, I heard what he did to you. That was so awful. Speaking yeah, about awful, young lady. Ooh, you're yeah, walking to that Just one. Just that. Okay. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I totally messed up, but it, it just, it wasn't supposed to happen like this. I was just trying to get your attention, and he was there. And... Get oh. my attention, Cameron. What's up? Sleeping with Walter? He's a married man, his wife is pregnant. Did you even talk to her? Did you even apologize? She didn't answer my call. Well, she, she, she wouldn't. I won't blame her, no. What you said to her was done, right? Disrespectful. Yes. Anyway, kids, I know that I haven't been there for you guys. Sean, you know that. I know that you have been back then with a marijuana problem. Mm-hmm. We know. We know. 
and see. Cameron, I could take responsibility for the part that I play, pushing you outside. Hmm. And this whole situation showed me that it wasn't the money, it wasn't my job, it wasn't the house that I needed to build, it was my family. All I want to say to you guys is if it's not too late, I still want to be the dad that you guys deserve oh, and be here for you all. Thank you, God. Poor Stan. I'm so, so, so oh, sorry that I messed up. I'm so God. sorry that I embarrassed you. And I pray that you all could forgive me sometime, anytime. Come, I've already forgiven you. Oh, you want to hug too? No, no. Be nice to your brother. Be nice. Oh, Lord. So, it's been a while since you've sung for us. Yeah, let's have a little worship, man. All right, all right. Daddy, going to sing. I'm going to try. Yes, it's been yes. It reminds me of this song, yeah? <laughs> I made space for what I treasure. Okay. I made time for what I want. And I choose my priorities. And Jesus, you're my number one. So I Make room for you. I prepare for two so you don't feel that you can't live. Please live in me. I find space. Just too much. Doctor told me that I need to rest and, you know, for the sake of the baby and myself. So, but it's just so hard. It's really hard, Sarah. You know, you know what? Try some chamomile tea. That would calm you down and it would put you right to sleep. Okay, fine. I'll try it. So, well, I...
No, don't ask. Oh, okay. Um, I, I can respect that. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's just too much, you know, with the baby and... I don't know, I, I, it's a lot for me. I understand, Alice. I understand. Trust me, I do. So, do you think you'd be at Miss Tina's tomorrow evening for worship? No, I don't think I'm ready to come out and socialize just yet. Uh, um, maybe I'll ask Walter, you know. Okay. Well, here's what. You go get some rest, and I will check in with you later. Okay, baby girl? Okay, sweetheart. You take care of yourself, huh? You as well. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, Hey. Hi. Emma? Is asleep. Um, I think I should be getting some rest too. Alice, I'm really sorry, all right? I really should. You know what? What is there to say? I mean, as I said, I mean, we should talk because I just really want to say no. I'm sorry. You, you. He said, sorry, while well, the baby was fighting for her life, while well, I was going in labor. Sorry, from the way to the hospital, from the hospital. You've been saying sorry every day. I'm not impressed, honestly. <laughs> not impressed. Well, I mean, let's still try to make it work. If not for us, Don't. Then... Don't do that. You don't get to do that. I am hurt, and I am angry, okay? And I am entitled to feel all of my feelings. So you don't come up in here trying to be all this way with me. You don't get to do that. Yeah, but Alice, I just really want us to try and just make it work. You know what? Listen. I did say that I'm open to counseling and what have you, and you know, for the sake of the baby and what have you. But this, this is just too much. I, I can't deal with this right now. I mean, you go in that worship session by Christina? No, I'm not going, and I think you should go. Wait, what? No, 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 I don't want to go. No, no you don't have a say. So you will go. All right. I guess you're calling the shots now. I guess I am. Yes, I'm calling the shots. All right. Well, <sighs> you're going to stay here with me? No. This is too much. I, I need to get some rest. I'm tired. I could come and see Emma. <sighs> yeah, you could go take a look at Emma. All right. So I'll see you inside, OK? I love you, you know. But this is hard. Lord. Lord, my heart is broken and you know what I've done. I don't need to tell you. But I really want to make things right. I mean, how does one come back from such a low fall? My heart is broken. I am broken. She's broken. Just... It may not feel good to me, but it is good. Deep. 
Lord, thank God I finally finished this thing, yes? How are we looking? Mm -hmm, yes. <laughs> oh, Lord, God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Well, I'm going to go and see if I could get ready for this family worship. Mm. Hi, Miss Tina. Hey, hey. How are you going, son? I expect to see you here today. Mm, sit down. How are you going? How the baby going? How it feels to be a new daddy? Well, um, I didn't expect to be here either, you know, know. but um, mm. it feels good, you know, it feels good mm. to be a uh, dad, you know, Emma, that's her name. Yes. I'll, I'll, I'll do anything for her, you know. Mm. Better you than me. Hi, Miss Tina. Hey, I'm going yeah. with them children. Um, they had something to drop off, you know, at work, so they'll be here in a short while. Oh, nice, nice, yeah. nice. You also don't make yourself comfortable. Mm. Alice McQuilt. Mm. Hi. Mm. Hi, Alice. Mm. Um, <laughs> All right, um, you all sit down, make yourselves comfortable, make yourselves comfortable. Uh, before I sit, Miss Tina, some stuff mm. I need to get off my chest. Oh, Lord. Just stay down, let's worship, okay? You know, Walter, mm. it had nothing that I wouldn't have done for you and that company. Mm. Sarah and I been there even when Alice had her miscarriages. Mm -hmm. And that is why, even though everything transpired, it pains me to say today that I am going to tender my resignation. What? Jack, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've already made the decision. You have a, you, well, you have a daughter coming. She rich. And you're going to know. <laughs> You're going to understand what it feels like yes. to know that you have to do everything you have to do to protect her. Yes. And I realize that at this moment, I need to spend more time with my family. Mm. So I've already made my decision. But, but Jack, I mean, that's a mistake. Eh? I, I mean, you really shouldn't. It shouldn't be the job. A mistake? Yes. It's not the fact that you slept with my daughter. No? Mm. Mm. It's the fact that I need to stand and build my family. Yes, yes. No, but Jack, I mean, I need you at the company. Jack, Jack, Jack. The company Jack. needs you, all right? I mean, what I did was a mistake, you know? A mistake. A child, a mistake. No. We all make mistakes, Walter, right? 
But none of it involved climbing on top of somebody family oh, member. Right? No, wait. So I, I do apologize, no. That mm. I deserve this, okay? Mm. But but listen, all right, Jack, listen to me, okay? I know, I know, I know what I did, you know. I know what I did, but what I'm saying is, right, it was a mistake, and no one here, he no one here is one perfect, time, okay? Jack. No one here is perfect. I mean, we have all done things that, that, that we're not proud of, right? Yeah, yeah, and no one here is a scumbag like All right, you, all right, right, all right. Enough of all this work talk, and who will sleep with who? I make all this bread and cake for me to stand here in my gallery to talk this nonsense. And you know what? As a matter of fact, come to This is for the board of all you, and that is for fighting the office to big hardback men like all you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Don't mess in on me, you know. So, you don't feel I know that you're hurting, that your best friend sleep with your daughter? All I am trying to say is to have better ways to deal with situations like this, rather than fighting like two ruffians on Charlotte Street. <laughs> and Walter, Walter, you did wrong. I don't know how you could watch Cameron like that, you know, but I have to put a special hand on you after this. Right. <laughs> so, you know what? Now it's time for you to listen to the grieving parties. Yes. <laughs> You know, you better have apologies to Jack, you know. Apologies. Apologize. You didn't hear what I said? Yes, yes, Miss Tina. Yes, Miss Tina. Jack, I know, just seriously, just I know that just sorry just wouldn't automatically mend what we had, all right? But I just hope that one day, you know, the relationship that we had, I mean, the friendship could just, yeah. could just come back together, you know, okay, um, just breathe. you know, that, that was broken. When I, you know, slept. With okay, me. okay. No need to call no names. Um, you have anything to say, Jack? Huh? Not one thing, Miss Tina. All right. Well, you're entitled to feel any which way, please. Mm -hmm. uh, listen, I just want to beg for a, a moment. I want you to think about all the times when you messed up and God forgive you. No, I'm not trying to trivialize your feelings, you know, but we have to start somewhere. Our olive branch today. I repaired friendship tomorrow and well brothers by Thursday. That what? is how we think this grew up. Yeah. Listen, it's the people, right, who closest to us is the ones that has hurt us the most. True. Hmm. Listen, true. I really pray and hope that you find it in your heart to forgive him now. At least what I get to apologies. You know how much people and get to say that I'm sorry? And well, if I was you, I wasn't resignating, no job. For starters. <laughs> For starters, <laughs> you will make my oh, my uh, position repondent. Lord Father, redundant, Mistina. That is what I said. Is, you're not listening. Anyways, if you resignate the job, how you could how you, how, how you could blackmail them? Listen, we're not joking, joking. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't. Hey, hey guys. Hey, hey. 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 What do we miss? Oh, honey, you don't want to know. You don't <laughs> want to know. Mm, nice, nice. I see everybody here looking all beautifully. Right, nice. So I feel we have some time. Hey, to, to, hey how are you going? You're rich. Nice. I feel we have some time, you know, for one of people to say what they're grateful for in this moment. Mm. So, mm. anybody? Um, I guess I can go first. Okay, go ahead, love. Um, well, I'm grateful to God that, you know, he's a God of love. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, even though I messed up big time. Mm -hmm. Big time. <laughs> big, time. big time. You know, he looked past that. And I'm able to feel his love as though I didn't mm. mess up at all. So mm. I'm really, really grateful for that. Yes, thank you. Yes, Lord, yes. Uh, anybody else? Anybody um, else? I suppose I can go next, Miss Tina. Go ahead, love. I mean, I think everybody here knows that I've been bruising my knees mm -hmm. for my family, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. We've been through some really rough times mm -hmm. and we had some ups and plenty downs, mm -hmm. you know. But I just want to thank God for being a God who restores. Mm -hmm. And, you know, throughout this entire experience, what it shows us is that we were trying to do it on our own and mm -hmm. we weren't making time for him. Mm -hmm. And so I think what we have learned most importantly is that we have to be intentional about mm. our relationship mm. with God. Mm. So I just really want to stand here and, and say thank God for healing my broken mm. family and yes. for being the God who restores. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. I love what I'm hearing. We have room for one more. Yes. One more. Nobody? I'll go. Okay, go ahead, love. You know, The past couple of months really showed me that 
my efforts for people. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of that scripture in Psalm that says, mm -hmm. unless the Lord builds the house, mm -hmm. they labor mm -hmm. in vain mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So today, I'm thankful that God helped me to build my family. Mm -hmm. I yes. love you guys. Yes. Yes, I love what I hear and I love it. <laughs> Listen, all I see and I love all this, all of this is good. You know what? You know, the love, the love don't have to change, you know. It don't have to change. Mm. Mm. Amen. It reminds me of a song, you know? It yes. does. Yes, yes. It, it does remind me of a song. I mean, you all will permit me to sing. You, you go ahead, Sonny Boy. You go ahead. You go ahead. to talk. <laughs> Folks, I hope you were as captivated as I was. Now let's put our hands together again for the house that Jack built. So at this time, I would like to acknowledge the cast and crew that has enthralled us 
for the last three hours. So let's begin with the musical magicians. On keyboard, we have Jesse Johnson. On bass guitar, Adriel Bailey King. On guitar, Nahum Roland. Background vocals, Jeremy Campbell. Nadia Bing. And Renee Lawrence. And now, our amazing cast members in order of appearance. Ronald Young, played by Dwayne Edwards. Brandon Moore, played by Kerwin Ruiz. Abigail Evans, played by Kelsey King. Jessica Carter, played by Aaliyah Bristol. Alice James, played by Luenda Moore. Walter James, played by Cleon Alexander. Sean Washington, played by Shalek Joel Roberts. Cameron Washington, played by Yana Dyett. Sarah Washington, played by Renee Joseph. <laughs> Tina Charles, played by Savion Beckles. <laughs> and of course, Jack Washington, played by Dominic Martin. I'd also like to highlight the production team. We have the project manager, Alana Rivers. The PR manager, Kerwin Stevens. Stage manager, Sophia Scantleberry Moses. Costuming, Colleen Stevens. Angela Seeley. Once more, treasurer, Angela Seeley. Audio engineer, David Thompson. Our musical director, Jesse Johnson. And ticketing and sales, Dr. Simone Walcott. We would also like to give a special thanks to the Queen's Hall crew for ensuring this show ran so smoothly. These guys really took care of us. And now we save the best for last. Our writer and director, Carol Ann Stevens, and her sister and muse, the lovely Corey. Let's have a round of applause for our cast, please.